Yo, it's your guy, Dr. Cool. The most disruptive technology ever invented has emerged from a guy. A self-taught engineer from Africa is hitting up the globe. The continent is experiencing a renaissance, a rebirth of sorts, that is not just limited to its geographical expanse, but is deeply rooted in technological advancements and innovation. This transformation is being driven by a new generation of thinkers, creators and doers who are determined to reshape the narrative of Africa, not just geographically, but technologically. The digital revolution is sweeping across Africa, bringing with it a wave of new opportunities and possibilities. From mobile banking to e-commerce, technology is becoming an integral part of everyday life for millions of Africans. Across the continent, a new generation of innovators is challenging the status quo. These young minds are not content with merely adopting technology. They are intent on creating it. They are leveraging their unique perspectives and experiences to develop solutions that are tailored to the specific needs and challenges of their communities. They are designing and building electric vehicles or EVs tailored to African needs. These vehicles are not just about transportation. They are about creating a sustainable future. They are designed to withstand the unique conditions of African roads and climates, making them more durable and reliable. In Burkina Faso, for example, we see locally produced EVs navigating bustling streets. These vehicles are a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of African engineers and designers. They are proof that Africa has the talent and capability to produce world-class technology. These vehicles are not just symbols of progress, they represent a bold statement. They signify a shift in mindset, a move towards self-reliance and independence. They are a declaration that Africa is ready to take its place on the global stage as a leader in innovation and technology. Africa is no longer content to be merely a consumer of technology. The continent is ready to reclaim its place as a producer and innovator. This shift is being driven by a growing recognition of the importance of technology in driving economic growth and development. It is ready to reclaim its place as a producer and innovator. The rise of African-made EVs is a clear indication of this shift. These vehicles are not just about transportation. They are about creating jobs, reducing reliance on foreign imports and bolstering local economies. The economic implications of this shift are profound. By developing its own EV industry, Africa can create a ripple effect that will benefit various sectors of the economy. From mining to manufacturing to retail, the impact of a thriving EV industry will be felt across the board. Imagine a future where Africa manufactures its own EVs. This would not only create jobs, but also foster a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. It would encourage young Africans to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, thereby building a skilled workforce that can drive future growth. This would create jobs, reduce reliance on foreign imports and bolster local economies. The benefits of a homegrown EV industry would extend beyond the automotive sector, stimulating growth in related industries such as battery production, software development and renewable energy. The raw materials needed for batteries like cobalt and lithium are abundant in Africa. By harnessing these resources, Africa can reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers and ensure a steady supply of critical materials for its EV industry. By developing its own EV industry, Africa can harness these resources to drive economic growth and create a more sustainable future. This would not only benefit the continent, but also contribute to global efforts to combat climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions. This is not just about cars, it's about economic empowerment. It's about creating opportunities for Africans to build and own their future. It's about fostering a sense of pride and ownership in the continent's technological advancements. It's about owning the means of production and reaping the full benefits of innovation. By investing in its own EV industry, Africa can ensure that the profits and benefits of this technology stay within the continent, rather than flowing out to foreign companies. The rise of African-made EVs is a beacon of hope, signalling a future where Africa is not just a participant in the global economy, but a leader. It represents a bold vision for the future, one where Africa is at the forefront of technological innovation and sustainable development. The narrative of African innovation is often overlooked. 
Despite the continent's rich history, many are unaware of the technological advancements that originated here. This oversight has led to a skewed perception of Africa, one that focuses primarily on its struggles and natural beauty while ignoring its profound contributions to human progress. Many associate the continent solely with its natural beauty and cultural richness. The stunning landscapes, diverse wildlife and vibrant cultures are indeed remarkable, but they are just one part of Africa's story. The continent's technological heritage is equally impressive and deserves recognition. However, this perception ignores Africa's significant historical contributions to technology. From ancient times, African societies have been at the forefront of innovation, developing tools and techniques that have had a lasting impact on the world. These contributions span various fields, including agriculture, engineering, medicine and astronomy. Long before the world marveled at Silicon Valley, Africa was a cradle of ingenuity. The continent's ancient civilizations were hubs of technological advancement where knowledge was cultivated and shared. This rich history of innovation laid the groundwork for many modern technologies we take for granted today. Ancient Egyptians, for instance, developed sophisticated irrigation systems, mastered astronomy and pioneered mathematics. Their ability to harness the power of the Nile for agriculture ensured the prosperity of their civilization. They meticulously charted the stars, creating calendars that influenced timekeeping for millennia. Their mathematical achievements, including the concept of geometry, were foundational to the development of science and engineering. Their architectural marvels, like the pyramids, stand as testaments to their engineering prowess. These structures, built with precision and ingenuity, continue to awe and inspire people around the world. The construction techniques used by the ancient Egyptians were advanced for their time and remain a subject of study and admiration. Across the continent, from the iron-smelting techniques of the Nok civilization in Nigeria to the intricate Great Zimbabwe structures, evidence of African ingenuity abounds. The Nok people were among the first to develop iron smelting technology which revolutionized agriculture and warfare. The Great Zimbabwe structures with their complex stone masonry demonstrate advanced architectural skills and social organization. These historical examples remind us that Africa's technological spirit is not new. It has deep roots that stretch back thousands of years. African inventors and innovators have always been at the cutting edge pushing the boundaries of what is possible and contributing to the global pool of knowledge. It is deeply ingrained in the continent's DNA. The spirit of innovation and problem solving is a fundamental part of African heritage. This legacy of technological prowess is something that should be celebrated and built upon as it provides a strong foundation for future advancements. The current wave of innovation is not a sudden surge, but a resurgence, a reawakening of a long dormant potential. Today's African innovators are drawing inspiration from their ancestors, tapping into a rich vein of creativity and ingenuity that has always been present. This resurgence is a testament to the enduring spirit of African innovation. By recognizing and celebrating these historical achievements, we can foster a stronger sense of confidence and inspire future generations of African innovators. Understanding and appreciating this rich history can empower young Africans to pursue their own technological dreams, knowing that they are part of a long and proud tradition of innovation. Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikumbutso is a lightning rod for controversy. His name often sparks heated debates in both scientific and public circles. Some hail him as a visionary, a maverick inventor who could change the world, while others dismiss him as a charlatan, a man whose claims are too good to be true. Chikumbutso claims to have developed groundbreaking technologies, including a self-powered generator and a device that converts radio waves into electricity. These inventions, if proven to be functional, could potentially revolutionize the way we produce and consume energy. Imagine a world where electricity is generated without the need for traditional fuel sources, reducing our carbon footprint significantly. His inventions, if true, could revolutionize energy production and access, especially in remote and underdeveloped regions. In places where electricity is scarce, such technologies could provide a much-needed lifeline, powering homes, schools and hospitals, and fostering economic development. However, Chikumbutso's work has been met with skepticism and disbelief, particularly from Western scientific institutions. These institutions often demand rigorous proof and peer-reviewed validation which Chikumbutso has struggled to provide. The lack of transparent data and reproducible results 
has only fueled the doubts surrounding his claims. This skepticism, while understandable, often stems from a systemic bias against African innovation. Historically, African inventors have faced significant barriers in gaining recognition and support for their work. The global scientific community has often overlooked contributions from the continent, perpetuating a narrative that innovation is a domain reserved for the West. The prevailing narrative suggests that groundbreaking inventions can only emerge from specific geographic locations, primarily the West. This mindset not only undermines the potential of African innovators, but also stifles the diversity of ideas and solutions that could benefit the world. This bias creates a significant barrier for African innovators like Chikumbuzo, who struggle to gain recognition and support for their work. Despite the challenges, many continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, driven by a desire to solve pressing issues in their communities and beyond. Chikumbuzo's story highlights a critical challenge for African innovators, the need for validation beyond their borders. To gain the credibility and support they deserve, they must navigate a complex landscape of skepticism and bias, often seeking validation from international bodies and investors. While his claims remain scientifically unverified, the dismissal and lack of serious investigation into his work raise important questions about how we evaluate and recognize innovation, particularly when it originates from unexpected sources. It prompts us to reconsider our biases and to be more open to the possibility that groundbreaking ideas can come from anywhere and anyone regardless of their geographic or cultural background. The skepticism surrounding African innovation is a symptom of a larger phenomenon, the Nazareth syndrome. This term, borrowed from the biblical quote, can anything good come out of Nazareth, encapsulates the inherent disbelief that anything innovative or groundbreaking can emerge from places deemed peripheral or underdeveloped. Western media often perpetuates this syndrome by focusing on narratives of poverty, conflict and disease in Africa. While these issues are real and pressing, this singular focus creates a distorted image of the continent, overshadowing the stories of innovation and progress. This skewed perception creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. When the world doubts your ability to innovate, it becomes harder to attract funding, mentorship and collaboration opportunities. Breaking free from the Nazareth syndrome requires a conscious effort to challenge preconceived notions and embrace a more nuanced understanding of Africa's potential. Thanks for your time, for watching, staying positive and updated. I remain Dr. Cool Autofix. Now, if you would excuse me, gentlemen and ladies, I have a date to keep, a self-powered car to drive and a flight to catch. See you in the comments section.